we last saw you, there's been a flood, a 500-year flood that brought our city to its knees. A major disaster playing out now in Nashville. Massive flooding has left an astonishing 13 inches of rain over a two-day period. It was personal. There were fires. So much devastation of homes, possessions, of lives. It was personal. In the midst of flood and fire, and any time our neighbors needed us most, the Nashville chapter of the American Red Cross was there. Last year, we responded to over 300 house fires, helping 2,000 families in crisis. We mobilized 2,384 volunteers, 68% of whom were local, to respond to the May flood. We set up 37 shelters to accommodate 8,684 overnight stays. We served 349,573 meals and snacks, deployed 63 mobile response vehicles, provided 31,222 cleanup and comfort kits, made 6,066 health assessments, as well as 8,270 mental health contacts. And we supplied 329,021 bulk items, such as shovels, rakes, gloves, and trash bags to give practical aid in the hours, days, and weeks following the crisis. We trained 14,912 people in life-saving skills, such as adult and infant child CPR first aid AED, lifeguarding, swimming lessons, and babysitters training. We provided services and support to 5,638 military families, offered 24,000 vision and hearing screenings, collected 121,285 pints of blood, enough to help more than 363,855 recipients in need of life-giving blood. All told, we blanketed hundreds of thousands of neighbors in the compassionate, practical services of the Nashville chapter of the American Red Cross in their hours of greatest need. After all, when disaster strikes our area, it's personal. There are no federal funds to support the essential response services we provide to our local area. When crisis comes to Middle Tennessee, we're on our own to respond. If you or your company gave volunteer, support it, or spread the word last year, then you personally had a hand in reaching our neighbors when they needed you most. On average, 91 cents of every dollar given to the Red Cross is invested in humanitarian services and programs. Thank you for raining down generosity on those in need. Thank you for blanketing neighbors in kindness. Thank you for taking the work of the American Red Cross personally. Of course, that work is never done. What will our community face this year? The work we do depends on you. We need your continued support to prepare, prevent, and respond. Truly, the work we do depends on you.